some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves, well, inside the mind of uh, Auditors of America, Last Days of Freedom, a.k.a. Jeremiah. Along with a whole host of paranoid delusions, mainly claiming that there are people out to get them. You know the type, they always gotta have an enemy to fight. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Guys, it's getting real. I've got to get my family out of here. We have to be out of this hotel Saturday at 10 a.m., which works out perfect because I have a location I'm going to. I'm not going to disclose that. I'm not telling anybody where we're going. No one will know where they're Except for people that I know I can trust. I was attacked last night. Alright, somebody cue up the violin music. I think we're going to be in for a very sad story. Yes, I feel threatened. Told if I told anybody that I would be put in a body bag. But I'm not going to be intimidated by dogs. It ain't going to happen. So, it is what it is. Yeah, sure, everybody's out to get you. Now, I knew somebody like you, and proper medication, those feelings can go away quite easily. But I've got to get my family the hell out of here, guys. And I can start a job here next week, but... This is like the boy who cried wolf. In this case, it has to do with the job. You've been saying this for months now, that the job is right around the corner, that you've got a job lined up, but you never get the job. What's up with that? Do I really want to stay here after that? And I know the place I'm going to. I have a job, so it'll work out either way. Whether I stay and probably end up getting murdered, or I go and get that job and finally live my life. Okay, so you claim a cop came out of nowhere and beat the holy hell out of you. Now you're saying that uh, somebody else came up to you and threatened to put you in a body bag. Man, trouble just seems to follow you around. I wonder, could it all be in your head? To get everything back on track. And to all you boot licking ass channels, I'm not going to say your channel names because I'm not going to give you the time of day or the credits. You know who you are. You people need to get a life, man. Y'all just sit around waiting for me to post something so you can criticize it. Post it to your YouTube channel and make money off of it. But then... Call me a scammer for asking for money, but you're doing the exact same thing through your super chats. Live streams do have super chats, dude, and the uh, people participating in the live chats are not exactly forced to give any money to the uh, content creator during those streams. That is a strictly voluntary basis which everybody engages in, including your fellow auditors. I personally have only hosted but one live chat. It's something I really should get into one of these days. That's something for me to think about right there. Channel memberships and your donations. One person in particular called me a scammer because I asked for help and raised like $400 in a few hours. He raised 8000 in 30 minutes just through super chats. But I'm the scammer dude, right? You take my content and post it on your channel and collect the ad revenue, but then call me a fraud. Yeah, that's called fair use, and it's part of commerce. One part of freedom is being able to have the ability to critique other people's ideas without fear of being persecuted or prosecuted. As somebody who claims to love freedom such as yourself, you should take that into consideration. 
But of course, you can't take that under consideration because you don't have the mental capacity to figure it out on your own. Makes sense. Guys, help me get my family the fuck out of here. Well, Jeremiah, if I could do it, I would do it. But I have not made that much money from showing your videos. I've probably made about enough to buy a tank of gas. Maybe about, though, 50 bucks at the most. And that's from the three or four videos combined that I've done on you. Out of the nearly 400 that I've got on my channel. So yeah, I don't think it'd help you out very much. You should really try to do live streams because it may benefit you to get some of that ad revenue that you so hate. The PayPal link will be below, the cash out will be below. Them are the only two ways I get the money instantly where I can keep it and get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's the big issue with Google AdSense, a.k.a. how we get paid through YouTube. Uh, you don't get paid instantly. It's uh, all sent to Google AdSense, and you are paid in the latter part of the month. Basically, it is not instant gratification like he wants. And just like a regular job, it is not instant gratification. It is not instant pay. You have to wait for it. Which I would imagine why he hasn't gotten a job yet, because he knows he can't get that instant cash like he so wants. Well, that's the end of the video, folks. I really appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time.